Hi, I'm the PC Expert Amateur, and this review is going to be of the Asus ROG Strix XF120 Whisper Quiet PWM Fan. Doesn't that look special? Well, if its specifications are actually accurate with a pressure of 3.07 millimeters of water, but only 62.5 CFM airflow, 22.5 dBA. Ooh, that's um, kind of tempting. I wish I was able to make a manometer in my extremely limited space, but no, 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 not yet. Can't do that yet. So there's a lot of stuff going on with this fan as far as this box. This box is really busy. It's, it's like Noctua style box, you know, Corsair or Noctua cooler master some of them they go way out of the way to make a very well presented marketing box um, and then people just throw it away <laughs> but anyways I want to show you the fan itself it's got the tr the uh, logo the, the uh, pixelated eye I assume that's an eye anyways it looks like a an angry eye to me and uh, yeah so it looks pretty standard. It does have four corner cushions. The sleeve uh, on here is braided. Um, it can't do daisy chaining though, but it is p standard PWM. So um, I don't. I'm not really sure if it is actually three millimeters of water though. I kind of felt it with my hand, and I was like, mm, I'm not sure. And then the decibels seemed kind of loud for 22 point something so let's go ahead and uh, check the sound on this one Very little noise right now. Well, now I can hear it. It is still quiet. You're probably hearing more than I am right now. There's a low pitch noise that has gotten stronger and increases in pitch. There is a weird kind of noise that suggests something is rubbing. Yeah, I don't like that noise. I don't think I'd hear it inside the case, though. That's max RPMs. And it really feels like the air goes very rapidly out in a, to the side. So let's uh, try this in comparison to the Noctua and FA12 by 25. already hear the Noctua. It makes a discordant noise because they're at two different pitches that don't match well. And that Noctua pitch is just getting higher and higher. I don't know. It's kind of hard as far 
there's like actual volume to decide which one is louder because the Asus has a lower pitch than the Noctua. Let's turn off the Asus. Yeah, um, what do you think about that? They're both rated by their manufacturers at 22 point something decibels. I think they're probably the same. Is it 22 though? I kind of feel like it's not. But it really is something that only a machine can appropriately measure. Or somebody who's really good at I don't know who's done it for a long time, I guess, and has memorized. But, you know, it's still, if you've got um, pitches that are coming into play, that can disrupt your perception of the noise level, the volume. It does have on the inside of the blade at the, uh, I don't know if, if you can see this or not, but it's uh, at the end of the blades here, there is this... Uh, groove in the blade that uh, I'm not really sure what it's there for if that breaks up some of the higher pitches that might otherwise come from this fan or if it's for air guidance or what it is there for so before we go to the statistical section just very briefly I'm asking that you please help me to build this channel to make it into a bigger channel so that I'll be able to do better things with it. Um, if you can just like, subscribe, and share videos, that would be really, really appreciated. And on we go. All right, so the ROG Strix Whisper Quiet PWM Fan XF120A1. Is there another? model for this a lot of these companies have two model numbers one for marketing and one for internal and I'm not sure about this one this is however version uh, hmm that's interesting the O and then point 175. Ah, that's... I don't know what to make of that. That is... Uh, yeah. Interesting. I've never seen a version number that has VO in it. Um, I don't see that there is... Well, I don't know. I don't know if this is a serial number or what. I think it probably is a serial number because it doesn't make any sense relative to the the product, but uh, there is a part number, and that's 90DA0010-B08000. <laughs> that's interesting in a nonsensical sort of way. So, um, it's a black, completely black fan, except it does have silver ROG Strix written on at least one of the sides, um, and that comes covered with a sticker so that it won't uh, get damaged. And it also has the, on the hub of the fan, it has the uh, logo of ROG Strix, which is lasered. So, oh, and I got this on sale for $14. It's usually more expensive. It's got several uh, certifications, including CE, EAC, United, I'm uh, sorry, Underwriter Laboratory, E516326, TUVSUD, and then there are two Chinese certifications. Yeah, standard measurements of 120 by 25, 400,000 uh, hours of lifespan, five-year warranty, which I couldn't find on the box. I had to go to the website to find that information. I don't know if I just overlooked it because there's an awful lot of information on here. Um, but yeah, I couldn't see it. 
no LEDs, 145 uh, grams versus the 200 grams of the Noctua and F812 by 25. Now, which if we look at the, the you know bearings and the uh, lifespan, the Noctua is only rated for 150,000 plus uh, with a six-year warranty you know, versus 400,000 and a five-year warranty. So, hmm. If it's true, that makes this fan really, really competitive with Noctua. And and the sale price is less than half of Noctua's price. Hmm. Seven blades versus nine blades on the Noctua. Standard mounting hole distance. Minimum RPMs to 50, maximum 1,800 versus 450 to 2,000. So, you know, people like to say that uh, the, the faster a fan goes the um, higher the static pressure and that is not necessarily true because if we look here at these numbers in this column and then look at the um, static pressure we can see that yes as the maximum RPMs increase, there is a tendency toward a larger static pressure, but that is not necessarily the case. And 1800 is less than 2000, and yet it has a supposed static pressure of 3.07 versus Noctua's 2.34. Now, if the RPMs are the defining characteristic <clears throat> of static pressure, then this should have a lower static pressure, but it doesn't. And so there's a 10% variance on the uh, speed, 62.5 uh, airflow versus 102.1 on the Noctua. So if you're looking for airflow, uh, you're better off with the Noctua um, and several of the others on this list. Um, the noise level is supposed to be 22.5. And I feel like if the Noctua is wrong, then this one also is wrong. Now, the um, power cable is 51 centimeters long. You can't, or there's no daisy chaining on it. Um, it does have a sleeve on it, however. It's PWM and it's maglev bearing. 12 volts rated, 10.2 um, voltage for starting. I don't know what the minimum and maximum would be, but that's the starting voltage, which is interesting because the AA wave was being very stubborn. I think I think it was the AA wave. One of them, one of the previous ones, was being very stubborn about getting started, and, and uh, but when, then I could lower the the, vo the voltage way back down, and it would go very very slowly. Um, one point zero eight uh, watts, point zero nine. Now, if we look at this, that means it's drawing less power than the Noctua because the Noctua is rated at 1.2 watts versus 1.08 and 0.1 amps versus 0.09. So it's more economical. So if you're living in an area where um, electricity is particularly expensive, like, like in uh, large areas of, uh, the, of Europe, you would probably want to go for the Asus over the Noctua, both in terms of immediate price and also in terms of the cost of running it. And it does have indication indications for rotation blah, 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 <laughs> and flow. And it does rotate in a clockwise manner. There are five screws included and five rubber pins or silicone pins. And it does have corner cushions and a two-way splitter. And that is it. Thanks for watching and I hope you have a great day.